Hello, Blue Justin here, still Justin, still not blue, and it's time for this week's weekly haul video. And I've got some interesting titles and some big packages. So uh, I think they're not that many, and hopefully it won't take too long. I'm going to start quite soon. Now. Okay, let's start off with the 4K edition of RAM. And if I accidentally have put this in twice since last week, I apologise. Maybe I like it that much. Um, this is Akira Kurosawa's last, well, it says last great film. Well, I thought it was his last film, so maybe he did one. After it, or maybe it's the last film when they're all great, according to the reviews. That was by Total Film. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, it's got a new restoration and it's featurette upon that restoration. And I think all the extras appear to be on the Blu ray. By the way, the, uh, by the way it's laid out. So well, it's, no, it's, it appears to have a, so it's got a the main feature on the 4K, the main feature on the Blu-ray, and both of them have the restoration featurette, and there's a third disc with all the features, which are a documentary on the great man himself. Um, interviews and more interviews and international um, film festival stage appearances so yeah really looking forward to that surprisingly enough never seen it before but um gonna be taking that sticker off sooner rather than later and using gooby gone or whatever anti-sticky stuff remover i i have to make sure that it doesn't leave any residue but uh, the uh, Amazingly enough, the slip for this one turned up in reasonable condition. Just noticed a bit on the back. Continuing on, after the first of today's jump cuts, because the Amazon chap turned up at the front door, Irizumi. I've seen uh, this appear on people's trips around uh, the shops recently, because it's uh, quite a recent lease. And... Uh, all about a young woman who, for various reasons, through, a very, through a various plot story, whatever, ends up being tattooed by uh, an amazing tattoo artist with a huge spider on her back, which causes her personality to change and start taking revenge on all the people who have taken advantage of her throughout her life which appears to be quite a few, according to the backstory. It's um, an Arrow release, and uh, therefore it's got lots of goodies. It's a new 4K scan, which is a bit of a shame, which when they do 4K scans, they don't release them in 4K, but there you go. Uncompressed Japanese audio, optional English subtitles, um, audio commentary, introduction and various trailers little extras that's what, and reversible sleeve art featuring the original art rather than the new arrow stuff i'm not sure which i'm going to choose another quite new one this is by eureka and this is wild search this is um uh, film about a police officer investigating a gang of gun runners when the shootout leaves um, a woman dead and the her daughter the only surviving witness um, Chow Yun Fat is playing the police officer who has to protect the daughter from the ruthless gang that obviously wants her dead uh, it's apparently a great performance career best according to the back of the cover 
by Chowy and Fat. That's, you know, going to have to prove that one to me because I think he's a fantastic actor. I like a lot of the stuff he's in. And as per the description, it is apparently a sort of reimagining of Witness, though I don't know whether it has the same theological background uh, as the uh, original basis film or whether they change that quite a bit. Well, I'm see I will change the specifics, but I don't know whether it uses that at all, that idea. So, yeah, this is another one I've actually seen, I think, on a couple of other videos recently. And that is The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. Um, a nice little uh, animation of the year. Lots of prizes across the back here. It's only a 12. It's only got infrequent sex references uh, about a uh, girl who, 17 year old girl who uh, suddenly discovers her ability to jump through time and obviously pops back to correct her mistakes and finds that popping back and doing that always has consequences and having to correct those etc etc and apparently it's very very good so I'm really looking forward to getting settling down and seeing that. I uh, don't think it's too long Yes, yeah, only 101 minutes, so I can probably fit that in at some point. And next up, we have the release that finally turned up. Oh, I'm so relieved it did. I thought I was going to keep my fingers there, so did I, actually. Um, now, this is the Savvy Exclusive Steelbook for True Romance. Fantastic film. I'll just go down, I've made the notes here of the uh, actors who are in it. Uh, the main ones, Christian Slater, Pat Patricia Arquette, Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, Christopher Walker, Walken, sorry, Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, with a cast like that, could you possibly go wrong? Now, actually, we have seen films where you can possibly go wrong with that. But given that this one was written by Quentin Tarantino and directed by Tony Top Gun Scott, then, you know, it was very unlikely to happen, and it didn't. I've seen it before, and it's an absolutely fantastic film, and I'm really looking forward to re-watching it in its 4K, guys. And on top of that, it's, again, it's an Arrow release, and on top of that, it's not only a really nice piece of cover art, um in this particular instance rather than the poor steelbook cover art that we've seen on some recent releases it's even if it was average it would be so much better than the absolutely appalling regular amray release cover art in my opinion so i'm so relieved to get this because i so wanted the film and i really did not want to have to get the uh, amray so Yep, that's that one. Oh, and I didn't even mention that um, in addition to uh, the fact it's uh, it's got the theatrical and director's cuts. Um, and like I said, by Arrow, it's got uh, loads of even more extras than the um, previous releases of this have had. I think the previous releases had three commentaries on it. And this one has actually recorded a fourth commentary. I, I'm not sure I'm going to have time to catch them all, but I mean, it you know just goes to show that uh, someone's putting in the effort here. And there's obviously there's also loads more extras as well as that on that one. So now on to the next one, and it is the Zavi exclusive Steelbook Lenticular 4K for. X-Men First Class. I'm not taking the uh, cover off at the moment. I shall see if it probably does show up a little bit through uh, through the uh, cellophane, the lenticular. But uh, very nice indeed looking. Um, so yeah, that's uh, next in the X-Men. It should have been out similarly to True. Um, 
romance should have been out last Monday but I didn't get it until the Friday because it was delayed being delivered to Zaffy which was a bit of a shame and uh, I don't I mean obviously if you're not a steelbook collector and you've got 4k already the discs inside are going to be the same and the regular Amory is much going to be much much cheaper to get because it's been out for some time but uh, if you really want it and you like these lenticulars or you're collecting them all then get it now assuming that it's still in stock and on to another one and very similarly X-Men Days of Future Past uh, the next X-Men lenticular Zabby exclusive case okay, steelbook release. Yeah, this one isn't out until next Monday and arrived on the Friday. Maybe they delivered them to Zabby at the same time, uh, despite the fact they're supposed to be released a week apart. Who knows? Uh, yep. Yeah. Basically, uh, Kitty Pride sending uh, Logan Wolverine back through time to make sure that uh, what's happening in the future is interrupted by fixing the past. Another time travelly type escapade. All good fun and very well done. The only downside, in my opinion, of this one is similarly to Deadpool 2, lenticular release, which it didn't have the um, super duper cut. This only includes the theatrical cut of Days of Future Past and doesn't include the road cut. So if you want the road cut, you have to keep uh, your previous release. And I don't think that's, I don't think that's been released on 4K. It's only on the Blu-ray as far as I know. So I have to keep my still Blu-ray of that one. And the next ones are going to require a drink. They are quite hefty. You're going to want to see these. Right. And this is how it arrived. Just to prove that Zavi can do it properly when they have the inspiration to do so. Yep. This is... Oh, here it comes. Carefully getting it out of the big box. The 4K Lord of the Rings theatrical and extended set that's just come back into into stock because they found found some more. I don't know what excuse they're using, um, but they suddenly decided after it had gone out of stock and. It cost an absolute fortune to get. Nobody could get it anywhere. They said they'd been able to resource some new ones, but it only appears to be on the Zavi that managed it. So I was very, very pleased to be able to get hold of this one. And, you know, it, the only downside of these is that you still have to keep your old set because this has only got the 4Ks in and the extended 4Ks are split across two discs and it doesn't have the Blu-rays as well. So you have to keep your old Blu-ray sets for all the extras because these are totally optimized for picture and audio. So it's, like I said, one disc for the theatrical and the extended is split across two discs of 4K, but as well as Martin, absolutely no extras. So yeah, obviously same thing for The Hobbit. That uh, it's got uh, the regular and extended edition, but it's only on six discs this time, rather than nine. They don't split have to split the extended over two discs. But again, you're not getting the Blu-rays, you're not getting the extras. So I'm keeping my old Blu-ray set which I probably would do anyway because 
my old Blu-ray set is the 3D set. So well, obviously if you want to watch it in 3D, you need that. Anyway, on to uh, my next purchase of this week. And that is season two of, or so season one of Testament Sister, so Testament of Sister New Devil. And that is um, a new manga that I've picked up. Um, and before anybody who happens to be in the know com comments, I do realise this is actually one of the characters from High School DXD, which I picked up recently. And not from this particular one, but on the principle, I think... I've got a red-haired succubus in both. I'm thinking I can get away with it. So, uh, yeah, this one's about um, two people who uh, essentially move into a shared room and uh, one's a succubus and one's a future demon lord. And next door, wouldn't you know it, there's the last descendant of a clan of demon-fighting heroes so things get complicated and it sounds like a bit of fun so i'm going to enjoy it i'm sure uh, next we have bloodlands this one's got james nesbitt i know some people don't get on with him i think he's very good uh, it's by the same people who had, have done Line of Duty, not Call of Duty, Line of Duty, I had to get it right the first time, I was just so worried I wouldn't, uh, and Bodyguard, uh, Line of Duty I'm enjoying very much watching at the moment, and I've recently purchased Bodyguard, so um, I think this one fulfills the, by the creators of set, that I've decided to put it together, um, this one's based in Northern Ireland uh, with James has been taken back to an incident that happened during the Troubles. So uh, there's lots of tension there and it's, uh, tension comes from the his, his history's dark past. Uh, so I look forward to catching up on the full story of that one. Next one was an American import. And that's Rockstar, and this one is uh, all about a um, huge fan of a particular rock group uh, who um, goes to a, one of their concerts one, one time, and he's in the first front row, and... Uh, when the singer on stage is practically choking on the notes, he's actually singing them out better than the singer on the stage. And it's recognised the singer walks off and essentially he replaces the singer in the band when the band recognise they have to get someone in who can sing all the songs and he's their uber fan and can sing. So um, he takes that role over, gets into the whole lifestyle and realises it might not be as perfect as he suspected it might be or as it appears it as it first seems when he gets into it and they obviously he goes to the down pit and pits and downfalls and uh, it's it's an enjoyable film it's i saw it at the cinema when it first came out and it wasn't particularly well known and it's still not particularly well known as far as i'm aware and uh i know it hasn't got a boot rate anywhere else well, certainly not in the UK, so I picked up, as I say, the US copy. It's also got Jennifer Aniston in it as his girlfriend, playing totally against type of her role in Friends, which is always good to see. And finally, Continuum. This is season four, the final season, and as you may have seen on Kermit's Ghost's uh, recent uh, video these are not get so easy to get hold of now and they're going for 
quite some money and I only I had seasons one to three but I wanted to make sure that I got season four before they all went out of suddenly started going out of print or something so uh, that's what I did I grabbed this one as soon as I could and as you can see it's not a UK release I'm not sure which ones were released in the UK. I know some of them were on Blu-ray, but as is usual with the UK, more often than I would like, more often than anything anybody would like, is they only released some series on Blu-ray, and they certainly didn't do this one. So this is an, I think it's, is it an Australian copy, or is it a... US copy it doesn't have the Australian sticker on so I'm assuming it's from the US but uh, I'm a bit confused because I could have sworn it was the Australian one but uh, I maybe looking at that number there it looks like actually it could well be a US after all and I got it wrong but yeah import again and final season had to pick it up to complete the set and that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. And uh, it really helps the channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And both of those things, and especially the subscription, then you can pop over and you can watch the um, giveaway that is still on that I've got. There are uh, four prizes and only about 10 entrants at the moment so if you want to if you want to give it a give it a world all you have to do is be a subscriber like that video and comment just saying anything apart from insulting me uh, which case I'll remove it <laughs> and uh, then uh, you'll be in the prize draw uh, for one of the prizes that I show on the uh, on the video so please pop over there and do that. In the meantime, uh, today's weather has obviously taken a turn for the worse. Um, today being the Sunday when I'm recording it. I uh, hope it gets better again soon, but it's still very, very hot and sticky. Uh, I'd like to uh, break in that. So, um, maybe a nice trip to the cinema to cool yourselves off would be nice. And if not, then just try to keep cool in your house, uh, watching some of that TV and films you all enjoy. And in the meantime, that's what I'll be doing. Cheers.